if some of the photos aren't so clear as others, but with that being said, let's take a look at this season. Since my patio door faces south, it proved to be the best spot to grow indoors. I started out with a few tomato plants, fig trees, and my banana plant, as you see here. I then added a table, small table, and a standard uh, light fixture that I got from the Home Depot. It holds four uh, T5 bulbs, uh, 6500K bulbs. I then upgraded to this Sunblaze light that you see here because it holds eight T5 bulbs and it proved to be cheaper than actually buying the fixture because when I, I bought just the fixture I actually had to buy the bulbs to go with it but this uh, Sunblaze grow light came with bulbs. I also built this table that you see here I needed more space I was getting more plants the grow light was larger I published videos every week on the progress of the indoor garden as the plants were getting larger. Here I started growing my peppers. I then had to prepare uh, beds outdoors, so I built beds. I built this miniature greenhouse that you see here and began planting in it. I then decided to build a garden arch trellis between my two beds that I put out back. I also made a video on this. Next, I did sprout a kumquat seed that I planted. Um, and here you can see the actual kumquat tree starting to grow. I planted uh, my tomatoes. I did a video on that. The greenhouse proved to be a great place to harden off plants. A few weeks later, you can see the tomatoes getting larger. Here's another look at that miniature greenhouse. That miniature greenhouse then came down. Now look at the bed. I'm getting ready to do uh, finish off the cedar and really make that bed look nice. Okay, and here's a look at the bed a couple weeks later. Just look at the growth in these tomatoes. All right, now these are some irrigation oyas. I did a video on this. I'm getting ready to install those irrigation oyas in the bed. And I'm gonna show you how I positioned them once they were installed. Uh, they are clay pots and they do great at irrigating. Now the pink ox heart tomato really produced the best for me. Just look at how well it did. My other tomatoes didn't do bad. They just didn't start producing nearly as early as the pink ox heart did. The pink ox heart also seemed to taste the best. Now here's when I first got my pepper plants planted out in one of my raised beds. And here's the other raised bed, a uh, combination of banana peppers, Chinese chili peppers, Cubanel peppers, and this is a look at the garden arch trellis about a month later. Here's how well the banana peppers were doing. The corn, I did a video on how to grow big corn. Now a couple weeks later, this is how tall my corn was. You see the corn off to the right. About a month later, I had corn. And the corn was delicious. Pumpkins. I decided to grow my pumpkins up a trellis. These are the small sugar uh, pie pumpkins. And a mildew took out the leaves, so I decided to cut the leaves away. Here is my pumpkin harvest. Now you see the banana plant behind me. A couple weeks later, or a month or so later, this is what it looked like. I did separate it from the other plants because it got spider mites. I left it out uh, outside all summer and look how big it got. I understand that it's not huge, but you really have to know the story of this banana plant in order to appreciate how well it's doing now. I ordered this lime quat tree online and as an experiment, I wanted to plant it in a biochar mixture. So I used 50% biochar, 50% peat moss, a little bit of rock dust, and I potted it up. Now I would have used compost, but I didn't have any. And you can see initially when planting it, it's a little wilted at the top. But seven weeks later, take a look at the new growth at the bottom of the plant. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, and you're going to be able to see the new branches and leaves. Now I did run into a bit of a problem with my kumquat. It got root rot 
it dropped most of its leaves. Look how barren it is. Now, as an experiment, I also wanted to plant this kumquat citrus tree in a biochar mixture to try and correct the problem with the root rot and prevent future root rot. Only two weeks later, in a 25% biochar mixture, look at the improvement. Let's now fast forward two months and look at the improvement. You can hardly tell that there was ever a problem. Now I also did a video on drunken composting. I believe in building the soil and I do that by composting everything I can. We're going to take a look at the results. One month later, these were the results. Okay, that's great compost. So here is a look at my new compost pile. Okay, and here is one last tour of the garden and how it looked last week. Uh, some nice high res video of the tomatoes, the pink ox heart. I thought it was done, but look, it's producing even more tomatoes. Uh, I'm definitely going to grow the pink ox heart next year. Okay, now if you've been following my channel, look at my lawn in the background. I did nothing but organic fertilize this year. This lawn also hasn't been watered in a month. Right, here's a look at how the raised beds are looking, at least how they looked last week. Okay, so they still look great even today. Uh, I'm really surprised that uh, they've stayed alive this long. We've gotten down to 32 degrees uh, one night, uh, 34 degrees a couple other nights. Uh, look how filled out this raised bed is. Um, I mean, the uh, bell peppers are still putting on peppers. Uh, the banana peppers are still growing. The cubanel peppers, which yeah, you're going to... Uh, I guess there's not a lot of cubanel peppers on there right now that you can see. But there are small ones on there. I've, I've done several harvests from these pepper plants. Okay, Now the garden arch trellis, uh, the cucumber plants have died, so I've chopped and dropped the cucumber plants. But look at this cherry tomato. It's just, it's huge. It's massive. Okay, here is one last shot of the high desert garden. Uh, probably the last time you'll be able to see it like this until next season. 